The Union Aerospace Corporation is the largest corporate entity in existence. Originally focused on weapon and defense contracts, new ventures have expanded into biological research, space exploration, and other scientific endeavors. With unlimited funds and the ability to engage in research outside of moral and legal obligations, the UAC controls the most advanced technology ever conceived. Incoming transport detected. Mars approach, Dark Star with U07063 passing through 38000. Roger, Dark Star, descend to 2000, set speed, contact ground on 26972. Roger that tower. We have them on radar, sir. They'll be landing in a few moments. Excellent. See that Counselor Swan is sent directly to me. Yes, sir. Tower, Dark Star on final. We've got you, Dark Star. You are set for lockdown. Welcome back. I can't believe it's come to this. I didn't want to come here. He left you no choice. True, but this is the last time. I'm tired of running damage control every time he makes a mess. Right. You're the control. And if that fails, I'm the damage. If that's what it takes, but Truger is going to start doing things our way. Whatever you say, Counselor. Welcome to Mars. All new arrivals need to check in at reception. If you're looking for someone to help you, just head to reception. Welcome to Mars City, Union Aerospace's I premier research facility. Here. To expedite your processing, please proceed rock. directly to reception. And you should too. If you're staying here, watch your back. Welcome to Mars, Marine. I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bioscan. This'll only take a second. Okay, let me get this started. You're gonna need to hold still. Moving around only makes the test take longer. All right, bioscan looks good. You're cleared for entry. On behalf of the UAC, welcome to Mars City. This facility serves as the central hub for all scientific research, Attention. archaeological Director study, Banks. and military Please report operations. to Central Administration. Goal number one at the UAC is the safety and well-being of all employees and guests. To help achieve this goal, we ask you to follow all UAC corporate procedures at all times. This includes restricting your movement to areas for which you have clearance. Always remain alert and aware of what you and others are doing. If you notice anything out of the ordinary, or just have a simple question, find the nearest UAC security guard. They are here to help, no matter how large or small the problem is. Our station on Mars provides a perfect blend of work habitats, recreational facilities, and social support structures. This ensures our goal of providing a true home away from home experience for everyone. Keep this in mind as you help us pursue our groundbreaking research that is destined to transform the daily lives of everyone here and throughout the solar system. If you need more detailed assistance, please see your human resources manager. If you are a guest, you may bring up any issue with your appointed UAC liaison. Thank you, and have a nice day. Welcome to Mars. First time? You can just leave your bag there. I'll have it sent up to your quarters. 
Okay, there's a few things we need to take care of first. This is your personal data assistant. You'll need this to access all secure areas. If you get clearance for any security zones, it'll download directly. It's important, so don't lose it. I see here that Sergeant Kelly has requested your immediate attention. Head directly to Marine Command. It's just that way. Follow the signs. Welcome to Mars, Marine. This briefing is designed to acquaint you with a few of the standard operating procedures here on the Mars Post. First and foremost, chain of command. All enlisted personnel are under the command of Master Sergeant Thomas Kelly. Sergeant Kelly will assign you to a security detail headed by a security chief. Please report to your security chief for all duty-related concerns. While on duty, please stay on your assigned patrol coverage area. All PCAs have been pre-designated to provide overlapping security and maximize efficiency. All personnel must have proper authorization in assigned areas. Be sure to annotate any discrepancies on your security inspection report. Safety is integral to all operations here on Mars. Handle firearms with extreme caution. Never discharge weapons in an area that may compromise the installation's structural integrity. Remembering these procedures is paramount to your success here on Mars. Keep in mind that you represent the greatest fighting force in the galaxy, and your actions are a reflection on the core. Take good care, and good luck on your new assignment. Mars City is a smoke-free facility. Haven't Please seen smoke you before. only in designated You must be with that new areas. detachment coming Thank to check on us. Thank you for your cooperation. I'm here because there seems to be some very serious problems. Oh, really? Do I need to remind you of the groundbreaking work that we're doing here? No, but I've been authorized by the board to look at everything. The board authorized you? Hmm. The board doesn't know the first thing about science. All they want is something to make them more money, some product. Don't worry, they'll get their product. After how many accidents? Tell me, Dr. Petruger, why are so many workers spooked, complaining, requesting transfers off Mars? They simply can't handle life here. They're exhausted and overworked. If I had a larger, more competent staff and bigger budget, even these few accidents could have been avoided. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed with the board. I will need full access, Dr. Petruga, Delta included. I won't have any difficulties doing that, will I? Only if you get lost, Swan. Just stay out of my way. Amazing things will happen here soon. You just wait. Let's go. I don't think I've seen you before. You must be a replacement for one of the guys we lost. IPN News Network, your universe now. The Union Aerospace Corporation denied allegations today of several reports showing a growing military presence on Mars. A spokesperson stated that increased activity is simply a tactical deployment to outlying planetary sectors. Authorities continue to search for the activists responsible in Monday's bombing of a biomech production facility, resulting in the destruction of hundreds of biomech labor units. In space news, mining station Amman is reporting nine dead and 28 wounded in what appears to be an ore canopy failure during routine operations. This is the fifth incident in a string of mishaps that have plagued asteroid strip mining facilities in recent months. 
Deep Space Probe Madridi successfully executed the first of four engine bursts designed to alter the probe's course, according to officials. The probe's logic core first requested the diversion following yesterday's discovery of a negative light object outside the orbit of Sedna. The probe is set to resume its outer system mapping mission next week, following further scans of the fluctuating anomaly. Faint signals continue to be received from the failed Europa orbiter, which is said to be further evidence of survivors in Thursday's crash. Union Aerospace, who funded the privately operated orbiter, stated that there were no survivors and the signal is part of the NAVCOM system's automated distress beacon. Critics of the massive corporation say the Europa signal is undeniably originating from one or more survivors, and the high costs of mounting a rescue operation have led to the UAC's refusal. In IPN's business news, Mixum Corporation has filed suit against rival company Moxim, claiming the company infringed on several pressure seal patents utilized in planetary bases. Moxim lawyers have threatened a countersuit, saying that Mixom creates inferior parts based on original Moxim designs. Senate majority leaders this morning approved a nearly $80.2 trillion spending plan. The plan includes cuts in funding for the lunar outpost and several planetary platforms, as well as major revisions to the public health care system. The plan also calls for cutting the budget deficit in half by 2147. Gentech firm Reutier met further resistance this week in its plans to introduce genetically manufactured health products on Earth. A longtime supplier to military and space sectors, genetically modified products have seen poor sales in the consumer market. Reutier's latest medkit technology was slated to hit stores next month. For IPN News, this is Roger McKellen with Subspace News on the Hour. Ah, someone new. It's always nice seeing new faces around here. Hope you enjoy your stay. Miller, you hear about Corporal Allen? Yeah, they said he just lost it. Shipped home this week. We lose one, gain another. No shit. I wonder who they're gonna move to Bravo team now. Who knows? I just hope they don't take anyone from my squad. I hate pulling double shifts. I hear ya. Another newbie. Welcome to the worst assignment you'll ever have. Another replacement, huh? Super Turbo Turkey Puncher, three. <laughs> yeah, I saw those suits arrive too. Weird. The UAC must be worried about something. I hear there's been more accidents in Delta. Huh, <laughs> accidents? That's good. Is that what they're calling him now? So, tell me, just what the hell is happening over there? Beats me, man. Look, all I do is repair the converters when they blow, okay? That's it. Fine. But what's overloading them so much? I mean, how much damn power do they need? I wouldn't ask him if I was you, man. I heard Travis started poking around and he got transferred fast. Didn't even see him leave. Hell, no one saw him go. Was here one minute, gone the next. Lucky bastard. Attention, Dr. Braddock, please report to Environment Management please report Office to Sergeant Kelly Alpha. ASAP. He's in Command HQ. This is Delta Science Management. We would like to request another security team here in Delta. Yes, sir. Thank you. Don't you have some orders you need to be following? I'm trying to reconfigure this little guy. I can't talk now. Representing yet another great accomplishment of the UAC, the Series 3 plasma gun is an extremely versatile medium-range combat weapon. Harnessing the exhaustive resources of synthetic plasma, 
the plasma gun meets the critical requirement of low-cost, abundant ammunition for today's highly mobile military. Capable of sustained firepower due to the latest advancements in plasma injector technology, this weapon's lightweight and high yield make it desirable for most combat scenarios. Always on the forefront of technology, the UAC is making safer worlds through superior firepower. Took his sweet time, Marine. Now, here's the situation. Another member of the science team's gone missing. Since you're the ranking FNG, you get to find him. I want you to check out the old decommissioned comm facility. We heard he might be heading that way. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I've programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. I hope you follow the sentry better than you've followed orders so far. We'll pick up some gear at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, and when you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurt him. Now move out. No time to talk, bud. We both got work to do. Didn't you hear, Sarge? He gave you a mission. Move out, Marine. When you complete your mission, report back here. Move out. Attention UAC personnel. Interested in earning more credits? Volunteer at Delta Labs today. See your service branch director for more details. Did you hear what Carter said? No. What? He said that he saw some strange creatures or something down in Delta. He said it wasn't human. What? You can't believe anything that guy says. I'm just telling you that's what he said. I don't know if it's true. Another reason I can't wait to get out of here. This is the audio log of maintenance technician Adam Bernays, dated November 10th, 2145. I've fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. I did, however, have another odd experience while I was down there. Shortly after finishing the first coupling adjustment, I distinctly heard whispering. When I went to investigate the sounds, I found nothing. I checked the work logs and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. That experience, coupled with the stories I've heard from some guys over in the Delta Labs, has me pretty freaked out. I'm really beginning to hate going down to the underground maintenance area. The people down there are a bit off, the mumbling, the weird looks. The whole place is just plain creepy. I'm always expecting someone to jump out at me. I've secured my tools and the busted modulator in the storage cabinet next to the maintenance elevator. Technicians should use cabinet code 396 to access the UAC them. cares about End the of quality work. of life of its employees. Please take advantage of our quality medical care services. Welcome to the dungeon, Marine. 
Most unexciting place on Mars. I'm gonna need you to grab some armor and secure your pistol before I can pass you through security. Okay, grab your gear. Now you're ready for combat. Let me do a radio test. Mars Sec radio check. Excellent. Good signal. Looks like you've been assigned the decommissioned comm facility. Just follow the main passage through the underground junction, and straight out. You'll have a quick evac. And what better way to see the Martian surface than to run across it? Okay, you're all set. Oh yeah, keep in mind, civilians are working down here. Don't get excited and shoot at me. Oh, haven't seen anyone new down this way in quite some time. Welcome to the dungeon, brother. Enjoy your stay. sure you want to find him. You see... Uh, uh, never mind. Don't listen to me. Never mind what I said. Listen, Scotty. I've done this a million times. It's not that hard. Why don't you crawl your fat ass down here and do it yourself? Because I'm getting paid to make sure you do it. Just finish the coupling so we can continue. This is Grant Baston, the Environmental Services Supervisor. The date is October 19th. I've been hearing an alarming number of reports on some, uh, unexplainable things. Being on another planet and working underground has always been a little spooky, so we always have the occasional report of strange things. But what is worrying me is the fact that the number of these reports are up by a lot. People are truly frightened. The rumors we're hearing about experiments from the Delta Complex are not helping. The power fluctuations aren't helping at all either. Having the lights flicker constantly and losing power for several minutes at a time is scaring everyone down here. I'm doing my best to keep people in track, but we're continually shorthanded. Someone's reporting in sick almost every day. I'll keep my director apprised of the situation, and we'll continue to log reports as I get them. Can you maintenance guys not keep any of these machines running? Yes sir, it's just that the science team demands a lot out of these things. Enough excuses. Just do your job and get the science team what they need. Well, I'm doing everything, but I just can't explain some of the things that have been happening to the systems. It's weird. Just get it done. Jeez! Do you make a habit of sneaking up on people? Everyone's already on edge down here with all the strange things that have been going on. The garage area is right through that door. Now stop bothering me.
Marine, this is Sergeant Kelly. You need to double time it down there. Search your assigned area and haul your ass back to Mars City. Out. You must let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. I can't let... I, you don't know what I've seen. You can't possibly understand or comprehend. The devil is real. I know. I built his cage. I'm getting abnormal readings here. This is bad. God! I can't hold these levels. We're losing it! Help us! This is Sergeant Kelly. We're under attack by an unknown enemy force. Fall back to Marine HQ to regroup. I say again, fall back to Marine HQ and await further... Leaders, give sit reps. Over. Command HQ, this is Bravo Team. We've got one Marine down, two wounded. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 4. We have pinned down an Alphalab. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 2. Main power systems down in sub-level. Back up in life support systems only. We've got lots of civilian casualties. It's a mess. Command HQ, attempting to secure the area. Report directly to Marine Headquarters and await further orders.
This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production, dated October 24th, 2145. Reclamation problems continue to plague the main processor. Two more valve overloads on that unit in just the past week. These overloads can destroy the valves, causing very dangerous fire jetting up into the and incinerate sensitive equipment. Today we've had only one reported injury as a result of these valve failures. And this is due in large part to the quick response of the engineering team. Our procedure of entering the failure code 842 in the operation terminal has proved adequate for the main no changes in the procedure. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production dated October 18, 2145. The current operational status of the grid is 23% over nominal capacity. I've increased work shifts to 12 hours a day for all personnel to keep up with demand. The constant and increasing load from the Delta complex is causing havoc. We are going to start losing critical systems if we have to sustain these levels much longer. I request clearance to requisition parts from other departments in order to maintain our equipment. Okay, I don't know what is going on over at Delta, but I'm doing all I can down here. The constant demands are bad enough, but the rumors going around are making things a whole lot worse. And I gotta tell you, things don't get better soon. All hell is gonna break loose. Level one. 
All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. We don't know what we're up against. Repeat, we have negative ID on your sailing force. The mean SOB. They don't have a clear path back to HQ. Stock up on ammo, establish a stronghold, and keep them at bay. Keep me there. Out. This is Sergeant Kelly. Fall back to Marine HQ and await further orders. All remaining Marine units, this is Sergeant Kelly. I am unable to reach Mars City from my current position. Move to Marine HQ to regroup and await further orders. Hey you! Up here! Quickly! I thought I was the only one still alive. I can't believe I found you. Something happened. I don't know what, it, it was like a shockwave. It, it passed through the entire base. People started changing. It was crazy. I, I was working up here on the vent shafts. I don't know how I survived. Go for help. Please. No way. I'm staying up here. It's the only safe place. Be careful. I don't know what's in there.
trust you. This is Specialist Wilson. My team is gone. They're all dead. I'm running blind here. What are my orders? Over. Specialist Wilson, this is Sergeant Kelly. Stay sharp, son. Look to your last known RV and fortify your position. We'll find you. This is Mark Stanton, Manifest Controller currently stationed at Mars City. I'm not sure who to send this to, so I decided to send it to quite a few people. If you're on the recipient list, please take a moment to review this report. It is quite important. I'm very concerned over the shipping procedures out here. I am the Manifest Controller, and as such, I need to be informed of everything coming in and out of Mars City. Someone here is subverting my position and preventing me from getting data on things being shipped. This is unacceptable. Not only could this reflect poorly on my upcoming review, but this is my job and I'm tired of being out of the loop. I have no idea who keeps telling the shipping crews to allow things in and out without allowing me to produce or procure the manifest, but whoever it is, it must stop. One of the dock workers actually told me to piss off when I tried to stop one of the last containers from going straight to Delta. I immediately filed a report and will follow up with the transit manager next time I see him. End of log. Dr. Mark Casian, at 1547, patient Jonathan Wills was admitted after complaining of insomnia and nausea. According to the nurse, Mr. Wills was calm and exhibited no signs of disorder when he was brought to exam room 5. However, by the time I reached him at 10 after 4, his personality had changed dramatically. When I entered the room, Mr. Wills lunged at me with a scalpel he apparently stole from a supply drawer. With the assistance of an orderly, we managed to subdue and sedate him without injury. Mr. Wills was heavily medicated and could not be diagnosed. In the 20 minutes he was left unattended, he managed to carve three symbols in his arm and cut his own tongue into two halves. I, I can only guess at the cause of his problems. I hope that additional psychiatrists arrive soon. In the meantime, in response to this assault, all medical supplies and armaments will be locked in a secure hospital cabinet with the code 347. Dr. Casey and out.
connection established. Marine, I can't believe you're still alive. I'm unable to return to Mars City. All passages out of the Delta Complex have been blocked. I'm setting up a command post here. I can monitor status reports of the entire base from Delta Central Authority and communicate with other Marine teams. It's your mission to link up with Bravo Team and get that transmission sent. Head toward Alpha Labs. It's the fastest way to find them. I'll update your PDA security clearance from here. Good job, and good luck, Marine. Audio report on troop morale. Morale here is beginning to drop. It's nothing to worry about yet since I keep my marines sharp and ready to go, but events at the base are wearing on the troops. There have been a lot of things happening here on the base. I believe the UAC experiments being performed here must be the cause. Out here, they could be experimenting on God knows what. There are quite a few people missing, and no marines of course. It's the civilian population I am referring to. Bottom line. Whatever it is they have going on here has my men on a razor's edge. At this point, there is no cause for alarm, but I am requesting we rotate squads every 90 days instead of every 180. I will continue to report as the situation develops. It is good we have the new Marines en route. Fresh faces will help. Sergeant Tyson, out. Audio report confirming new troop deployments for the Mars City Marine Facility, October 30th, 2145. The new troops will be arriving within a few days. I've started a series of training exercises focusing on close quarter small weapons combat, as well as instituting mandatory refresher courses on all munitions and weapons in our armory. In response to the large number of security breaches and general feelings of ill will around the base, I've doubled security details, placing two Marines at each checkpoint. This additional presence should help calm things down. I expect that the incoming Marines are not quite as green as the last deployment. They've turned out okay, but some combat experience will go a long way right now. Sergeant Tyson, out.
Marine, if you run across any operational sentry bots, use them. Those guys pack a lot of firepower. Psychological services are free and We gotta get to Bravo team quickly. They need all the firepower they can get. Sending that transmission is critical to our survival. Audio log for Dr. Cassian, currently stationed at Mars City. I have just left the weekly status meeting here in medical. The most prominent topic was the vast number of psychological issues we are seeing as of late. The number of reports indicates that 10% of the overall base personnel have shown symptoms. As many people will not come in for this type of thing, a number of affected personnel could truly be in the 30 to 40% range. It has even manifested itself here in medical. We have several nurses and a couple of good doctors out for related reasons. I'm going to formally request two additional psychiatrists on the next shuttle from Earth. The two we have are being overworked, and the content of their sessions with patients is starting to affect them as well. Dr. Casey, 